everyone, I'm Slato. And I'm Sarah. And we are sitting here at Mahogany Ridge at the K-1 Base Lodge after an epic day of skiing right here at Killington, Vermont. Whew, I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit worn out. I am worn out, and welcome to Explore Killington because we have a great show in store for you today. It's going to be off the hook. We've been so, we're, we're pretty exhausted because we actually <laughs> skied too much today because the conditions have been so good between Mother Nature just puking snow down on Killington and the mountain ops teams getting out there and still blowing snow. This season is never going to end. It's true. It's true. You know, the place never ceases to amaze me. I mean, literally, I don't know, we've had a couple of feet of snow here in the last couple of weeks, and I pull up the road here, and uh, all I can see is snow guns blowing everywhere. The conditions uh, cannot be better. We're in what I like to call the heart of the winter. We're moving into the first week of February here. So we, uh, this is it, man. The days are getting a little long. You can feel that, uh, which is one of the reasons we just didn't want to quit out there today. Mm -hmm. Well, as Sarah mentioned, we got a great show. We're going to take a look at our friends Marissa Sherman, and also Dick Sporbert. Now, Dick is in his early 80s. He's the oldest pass holder here in Killington. And Marissa, she likes to earn her turn. She climbs up and down. They both kind of, at the end of the day, they're two people you definitely want to hang out with, but they have a little bit, maybe different motivation for what makes them tick up here. But I think the bottom line is maybe they have the same motivation. It's all about the big K and getting it done, right? At the end of the day, they're all going up to yeah. come down. It's yeah. just how you get there. That's true. It's a great uh, insight as to, into both of them. I'm, I'm so glad we have these pieces. Also, I have the uh, combination to the vault this week, and we're going to take a time trip back to 1992, Sarah. We're going to take a look at some unbelievable mogul skiers. We've had had so many Olympians train over here at our epic Bear Mountain uh, Outer Limits Trail. So we're going to go back to uh, 1992. It's a piece that was produced and filmed by the, the mullet-wearing Dave Hewitt, uh, a longtime friend. Uh, if for nothing else, you got to stick around and see the mullet. Really I know, good. and all I'm thinking is business in the front, party in the back. Right on, right <laughs> and on. And speaking of a party, we're here at the Mahogany Ridge Bar, which is one of our favorite base lodges. We are also going to go to two of our favorite apres spots down the Killington Access Road, the Lookout Bar and Grill and Mogul Sports Prep. So, going to have to stay tuned for that. Those are two of our favorite places. I can't wait. Well, we got a lot to show you, so we better get rolling. Let's first take a look at our friend Marissa Sherman and why she is up there every damn day. I am Marissa and I am a female ski bum. I live and breathe skiing. That's why I live here, in Killington, in Vermont. But I also work two jobs, and sometimes that means I can't get to the mountain when the lifts are running. Killington's uphill travel program lets me ski every day. I can skin up in the morning before work, earn my turns, have a little peace and quiet, and whatever happens during the day, doesn't phase me at all, because you know what? I went skiing today. Everybody thinks I'm crazy because I have to get up at 5.30 in the morning, get dressed, skin up with a headlamp on, and then I get to the top, and the sun's coming up. There's nobody out there but me, and I have the whole entire mountain to myself. I get to ski before work. It's just fantastically magical. I love the peace, the quiet, the beauty. It's just me in the mountain. Every time I skin, I've seen and heard things that I've completely missed riding the chairlift. I've gotten to skin up with the sunrise and watch sunsets from the summit. And then I get to ski fresh pow under a starlit sky. Those are memories you can't make riding the lift. I ski uphill because I've had more adventures than I have ever dreamed of.
The most awesome moment I had skinning was last spring with my family. My dad and I had always hiked Superstar for turns after the last lifts had closed. And it was kind of our daddy-daughter thing. And then when Killington started announcing an uphill travel policy, my dad started talking about how cool it would be to skin the Hershey Highway, take a couple runs at Pico, and then ski back to Killington. He passed away in 2013 before he got a chance to try skinning the highway. So last spring, when my family and I did it, we laughed, we cried, but we had the best adventure of our lives. I think my dad would have loved it. If I had to rank skinning as part of my life, I would say that skinning isn't a part of my life, it is my life. I ski every damn day. You know, Marissa is absolutely unstoppable up there, and if you really want to uh, explore Killington the way that Marissa does, what you need to do is get what we call an uphill pass. You know, that program has been very successful here at Killington. So if you're up there at Ramshead or uh, Sunrise or anywhere here in Killington, you need that uphill pass. For more information, go to Killington.com. It's an inexpensive little pass that allows you access to, to the ski area here. So check it out. And fun fact, that is also good at Pico, which is closed on yes. Tuesdays and Wednesdays. <laughs> so you can uphill travel there. But again, make sure you get your pass. They do check it. Well, listen, everyone, stay tuned. After our commercial break here, we're going to take a close look at our friend Dick Sporbert, the oldest living pass holder here in Killington. He's coming up right after this commercial message. Stay tuned. More Explore Killington coming your way. Welcome to Base Camp Alphardus, where all your mountain adventures begin in comfort. Here at Base Camp, we are very picky about our clothing company. You will find the largest selection of Mammut, Cenefit, and Wrap. We also offer adorable and functional clothing from Terry Traw and Prana. And our focus is moisture management and comfort while moving aggressively. And a great selection of packs and accessories too. And don't forget, Base Camp is where all your mountain adventures begin. Hi, I'm Heidi Baumantin from Prestige Real Estate, and I'm excited to be offering this beautiful three-bedroom townhouse at the Heights, one of the newest developments in Killington. This property is located right off Killington Road with beautiful mountain views and easy access to shopping, dining, entertainment, and bus service. This townhome has hardwood floors, gas fireplace, kitchen with granite counters, and stainless appliances, and is one of the few properties with central air conditioning and a garage, making this a wonderful year-round getaway. Please contact me to schedule a showing. Hi, I'm Steve. Welcome to the Killington Motel. My wife Robin and I have been the proud innkeepers for over 10 years. We offer affordable, clean, comfortable accommodations and a wonderful breakfast to start your day. We are also home of Killington Coffee Roasters, where we roast and sell our single origin coffee. If you are looking for a bed and breakfast or a bag of freshly roasted coffee, stop by and say hi. We would love to see you. We are conveniently located between Pico and Killington. My great-grandmother bought the farm in 1918. She taught my dad how to make maple syrup and my dad has been teaching me and the rest is history. <laughs> people want to be connected to their food and to the land and the people who make it, right? I think that connection is important. I like working with the land and producing something from that. It's not the hills that define the county, but it's the people living in the hills that define the county. The K1s are 6% mosaic hop-infused golden IPA, brewed year-round here at Killington Beer Company. You can find it throughout Vermont at your local craft beer retailer, or better yet, come visit us at the tasting room on Killington Road in the Woods Resort. You can watch the brewing process while you enjoy any of our six varieties of craft beer on tap. We also feature live music on the weekends. I'm Mike from Killington Beer Company, and I'm going to have a pint waiting for you. 
The Red Clover Inn and Restaurant is the intimate and sophisticated Vermont Inn for romance and relaxation. There's exceptionally locally sourced dining that is elegant yet casual, complemented by creative cocktails and an international wine list. And with event facilities that can handle everything from romantic weddings and rehearsal dinners to secluded business retreats, you'll be sure to come away with memories that last a lifetime. Get away from it all at the Red Clover Inn and Restaurant, affordable elegance in the heart of the Killington Valley. Welcome back to Explore Killington, everyone. Well, up next is our promised piece about the gentleman who, you know, he's in his mid-80s, but he thinks he's in his mid-50s because he is up here skiing every single day, just about. And anytime you would come in here, it's K1 uh, Mahogany Ridge area. That's where you're going to find Dick. Unless you find him up there and take a run with him, which would be a lot of fun, too, because that guy knows how to turn him. Well, it's funny you say that. I was actually in the gondola the other day with Dick, and I'm pretty sure he was pretty close to his 100th day. He uh, has is up here all the time. 100th day already this season, that's right. Uh, I think Killington has uh, maybe at this point, we're in our first week of February. Yeah, 110, somewhere in there. We've been open for the season, uh, so he's missed seven days. I, I'm going to have to talk to him. I don't yeah. know. He's slacking. He's but slacking. anyways, that is still a lot of dedication, and we managed to catch up with Dick and why he loves Killington so much. So take it away, Dick's former. I'm Dick Sporber. I'm 81 years old, and I've been skiing for about 58 years. Normally, I ski any day it doesn't rain, and we live up here for the winter, so I've already skied about 65 days this year. Last year I skied 118 days. I usually come to the lodge by nine o'clock in the morning and I boot up and come out and depending on the weather, I come up almost always to the top here because it's just a beautiful view. I choose Killington to ski because that's the only place that anyone with any sanity would choose as their home. It's big, it's massive. It, they have more snow making and they can control the conditions regardless of almost the weather. And once you get to 80, you ski here as a guest. It, it costs nothing. But that's not the reason why I come. I come because the skiing is so good. I've noticed in the last five years, I don't ski like I did five years ago. We used to live on outer limits. We used to ski bumps as big as Volkswagens and fly down there like there was no tomorrow and recklessly just jump off of anything. But now when I go to jump off, I look and see, is this gonna hurt when I land? And when, when the bumps get as big as Volkswagens, that's a chapter in a book of my past. But I'm still skiing smaller bumps. So it, the secret is just keep going. You keep skiing and your body will, will take you through it. But I remember skiing like two weeks ago on North Star. The snow was incredibly good, and I was skiing really well, skiing in bumps. And when I got down the bottom of the hill and looked up, and I said, boy, I remember it was when I was 25 years old. This is like, oh my God, such a great thing to do. And I'm still having so much fun doing it. What makes me the happiest in this world is when I wake up and I'm looking at the right side of the grass. <laughs> when you get into your 80s, you hear more about the people who aren't here anymore than the people who are here. And the people who are here are just happy they're here. When you go in the lodge at the end of the day and the music is playing, and on Saturday there's a five band playing with, with, with brass instruments and stuff, I look at it at times and I say, who gets to enjoy this life? How it, is this how the millionaires really live? How did I manage to come here? How can I really be part of this society? And you know, we're just given a gift of people and a place to go and things to do in a life that's way beyond what most people even envision. Most people in their 60s and 70s are home sitting on a couch, petting their cat, 
in reading a book, in, in waiting for the Grim Reaper to come and get them. And you know what? That's not what's happening here. It's not what happens to the guys that hang out at Killington. You know, I've left my grandchildren to inheritance here almost. You know, I've spent tons of money here, and I don't regret a penny spent, and I don't regret spending time. I love what I've done here, and I love what I'm going to do in the future. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff here with Dick Sporber, a uh, veteran of the United States Navy. So, uh, Dick, we thank you for your service. He uh, spent, I think, 30 years in the Navy. So, uh, not only is he, uh, you know, defending our freedom, but he's up here defending my right to ski that mountain right over there, man, and he's doing it every day. And he does a very good job of it also. Oh, I, like I said, I rode up with him and was able to, I was following him down. I couldn't catch him. He was gone in a blink of an eye. It was crazy. Yeah, he's a great guy. I know. Well, we have more Explore Killington coming up after the break. We are going to head on down the road to our favorite app race spots. We've got the Lookout Bar and Grill and also Mogul Sports Club, and I'm pretty sure Somebody, I don't know why, but they gave the keys to the vault to Slato, so we're gonna check out what's going on there. So make sure you stay tuned for more Explore Killington coming at you. Sal here from Mogul Sports Pub. You know, the only sports pub in Killington. Mogul's offers free mini golf, air conditioning, two pool tables, dot board, and TVs everywhere. Plus the best game room around. And if you're hungry, we offer wood-fired burgers, steaks, gyros, barbecue ribs, and of course, the best lobster deal in town. So just pop in at Mogul's and say, Sal sent me. See you there. This is the best farmer's market in Vermont and possibly in New England, and you can find just about any food you're looking to eat here. Rutland is, is uh, privileged to have one of the few 52-week-a-year markets, and it feeds an economy, not just the people. The farmer's market here is open every Saturday from 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock, and we'd really welcome everybody to come and visit us. If it wasn't for our customers, we'd be nothing. So we appreciate everybody that comes and visits and buys from us. weather strikes. Be prepared and call Primo, a professional company doing business right for over a decade. We value our customers and take pride in our work. Call now and let us show you the difference. At Northern Ski Works, we want you to have tons of fun on the snow. We'll get you on the right ski. We'll put you in the right boot. We'll get you outfitted in comfort and style. We'll get you adjusted and balanced. We'll get you finely tuned. We'll get you accessorized and we'll outfit the kids. Recognized by Ski Magazine as one of the top 15 boot fitters in America. We've got all the gear in here, so you'll have fun out there on the slopes. Northern Ski Works, conveniently located in Killington, Vermont.
North Killington. We've made our way down here to the first stop on the road. It's your first left. We are, of course, talking about the Lookout Tavern. And I've caught up here with my friend Bobby Joe. Bobby, good to see you, buddy. Mr. Slater, how are you, sir? I am great. I tell you what, after this ski day, how could I not be good? And uh, there's so many things. We don't have time to mention all the things I love about the lookout, but I'm going to just tell you right now. We are look. I'm looking out the window. I can pick out about six trails right from here that I skied up there today. They're right out the window. That's why we call it the lookout. Yeah, that's right. Right out that window is Killington Peak, the view. and it is beautiful and covered with snow. We had a great week of snow last night. Six inches of new snow that we never even expected. Yeah, it was. Uh, I was trying to drive home in the whiteout, and uh, you know, almost had to come up here till the storm passed. But worth uh, the drive. Yeah, I worked it. Uh, a couple other things I like, of course, the ice cold Long Trail Ales, and you got a big old barrel of free peanuts right there by the door. So you all know, the I'm, peanuts I'm, you I'm, can eat. I'm refueling. Uh, Absolutely. As we speak right now. Which is what you should do after a long day of skiing. I'm telling the you. The lookout what. should be your first stop. We have, without a doubt, the most fun, the best après ski happy hour anywhere on the Killington Road. Why wouldn't you come here? Now, we come here all the time, but you're even, I understand, you got some even better promotions if you can top what goes on here almost every day. There's always some real special stuff. Always something going on here at the Lookout. We Share with us while I... Over the course of the season, we're giving away brewing tickets on Friday nights. We have skis to give away. We have trips to various lodges throughout Vermont. Mm -hmm. You can enter to win ski tickets every Thursday with Long Trail here at the, uh, the Lookout. And on February 14th, Valentine's a, Day. A wonderful Valentine's Day release. Long Trail will be introducing their new Long Trail Lager right here at the Lookout wow. with some special prizes on top of that that you can enter to win as you and your sweetheart are enjoying your apres ski here at the Lookout. That's, a, that's phenomenal. And uh, so what time would we want to be here on the 14th to make sure we can get our name in for the drawing? Well, first of all, you'd want to be here from noon until <laughs> we close at 10. Okay. But the real festivities are going to be between 3 and 6. Come in for happy hour, grab some wings, grab some peanuts, have yourself a nice snack, and enjoy a new icy cold Long Trail Lager and a chance to win some great Long Trail prizes. Wow, an introduction party right here at the Lookout. You know, today my uh, beverage of choice is the uh, old staple uh, Long Trail Ale. I said the old staple, that was the first beer they introduced way back 25 years ago or more probably. And uh, I'm telling you, after a, a fulfilling day on the mountain, I, I just come down here and I kick back and. You know, the friendly staff, we got Jason behind the bar here this afternoon, and we beat, kind of rushed down here, Sarah and I, to beat the crowd to get a spot. Plenty of free parking, obviously. Absolutely. And uh, whether you're up front here or right out back, uh, you know, there's no reason not to come down here. Now I'm gonna, uh, you know, to help promote all our beautiful Long Trail products. I saw that thing stuck right there, right? We have a special Alpre Ski beer every day. Mm. Thursdays is Long Trail, and we love having them. Long Trail Ale, the Flying Ryan IPA, their base layer brunette, and come February 14th, the new Long Trail Lager. I will be here with my date, or a couple dates. Hey. Right, I'll hey. open up my chances to win, the more girls I bring in with me, right? I'm just <laughs> That's saying. certainly one way of looking at it, and no better way to spend Valentine's Day. That's right. Espresso bar, specialty cocktails, art gallery, and restaurant. Liquid Art is the place in Killington to get ready for your day and unwind when it's over. We invite you to enjoy work by local artists while dining on healthy fare, signature drinks, and specialty coffee in an atmosphere that is relaxed, cozy, and unlike anything else on the mountain. Stop in for open mic night, art jam, Sunday night supper, or try one of our raved about monthly wine dinners. Killington's Coffee House, where everything is a work of art. Liquid Art, the bright blue building two miles up the Killington Road. We're off to get a pizza, a wonderful pizza, Dominic. Welcome to Dominic's. My name is Galinda. What can I get for you this evening? Pepperoni, spinach, and garlic. Oh my! I'll be right back. When in Killington, Vermont, and you want some truly great pizza, Dominic's is where you want to be. We make our dough here in the restaurant every day. Every pizza is hand-tossed to order and topped with the freshest ingredients. You can taste the freshness. There's no place like Dominic's. Hello, and welcome to the Highline Lodge, the first lodge built in Killington. Please join us in our fireplace lounge, Killington's contemporary and lively gathering place. With breathtaking views of the mountain, you can sample our craft cocktails, local spirits and beers, and listen to live music on the weekends. Our expanded lounge menu features fresh, contemporary, seasonal dishes that are truly backyard garden to table. The intimate dining room and backyard patio are the perfect spots for group dinners and celebrations. The Highline Lodge, located off the Killington Road. Hi, I'm 
Chef Claude. My staff and I love to cook, and this is my invitation for you to come dine with us. Bon appetit. Combine the exhilaration of skiing, the flow of snowboarding, and control of mountain biking, and you have one of the fastest growing winter sports in the nation, ski biking. Ski biking offers another fun way to conquer the slopes. Whether you enjoy cruising down mellow runs or carving new paths through the powder, you'll discover the same excitement on a ski bike. It doesn't matter if you're an expert at snow sports, an avid cyclist, or have no experience at all, you are bound to have a good time. Reserve now to begin your new experience and discover how much fun it is for yourself. Killington Sports is the first stop on the Killington Road and the last stop you'll have to make. You'll find the area's largest selection of goggles and helmets, clothing, accessories, tuning, and repairs. Best of all, you can get rentals and lift tickets here and go straight to the hill. They have great merchandise from brands like Patagonia, North Face, Obermeyer, Flylo, Dekine, Burton, and Under Armour, including the latest in lifestyle clothing from Kuehl and Purnell. Killington Sports, make it your first stop on the hill and get on the hill first. Hey, welcome back to Sports Killington, everyone. Slater and Sarah, we've made our way down here to Mogul's Sports Pub. You know, it's the only sports pub here in Killington. We got Mr. Dwayne Carlton on the stage right now. It's a Thursday late afternoon apres ski. Locally, we call him the human jukebox. There is not a song in this guy's repertoire that, that, that he doesn't know. Man, you want to request a song, he's going to play it for you. And you know what? If you're a real local, you come in here, you don't even have to request the song. He saw me and Sarah come in. For Sarah, he plays Brandy by the Looking Glass. For me, he knows I love Alice Costello. He's playing that, too. Now, in the bar room, Sarah, we've got a couple pool tables up here. We're going to talk about the free pool in a minute. we got a shuffleboard table here, too in the bar room, but this isn't the only action that's taking place. We have a standalone dining room. We got an arcade. We're going to talk about that a little later. Let's mention a little bit more about the entertainment. Well, we've got Dwayne Carlton on stage today. He plays here every happy hour on Thursdays. You can also catch him on Sunday nights for our locals night here at Moguls, where he'll play every single song that you love to hear if you request it. He is not afraid to learn it also. You can also catch his band. You mentioned that he's got some awesome original music he does. Every other Saturday, DC3, Dwayne's band is here playing their original music and some of our favorite classic rock and roll. Just absolutely fantastic. And on other Saturdays, you've got the Super Stash Brothers, you've got Josh Vince and the crew, always do a great job playing you your favorites. And then on Fridays, you've got DJ Dave with All Requests Live. Come in, request your music, play some hip hop, play some country, whatever you want, he'll play it for you. Get a little dance off going on. It's a place to be here throughout the week, throughout the weekend. Don't want to miss the live entertainment. And not to mention Slato, while that's going on, there are TVs on every single wall, including the bathroom. So you can watch Killington TV even while you're sitting on the john. <laughs> That's right. Don't feel like you're going to miss any any action of the game uh, if, you, if nature calls because you just go in there and then there's the TV right there. There it is. Good exactly. Stuff. Good stuff. Well, you know, we talk about uh, all the local fun that's down here, and this is really where the locals hang out, I think. You just can't stretch your dollar more than when you come down to Mogul's. We're going to talk a little bit later about the unbelievable food and great deals they have on the food. But before we get to that, Sarah, I've got the combination to the boat. We're going to open it up. What are we going to visit this week? We are going to go to 1992 Mogul's with, produced by Dave Hewitt. Take it away, Dave. Mogul skiing has been elected as a full medal sport at the 1992 Winter Games in France. Many team members have made their base here at Killington. Let's watch them in action.
great skiers. We wish them all luck at the 92 Winter Games. We've got Dwayne on stage right now. He is singing my favorite song by The Looking Glass. We mentioned earlier that he is a human jukebox. He literally knows this is one of my favorite songs. It's from Guardians of the Galaxy. I liked it before it was cool in that movie, but that is a great scene if you haven't seen that. You know, I may actually uh, predate that movie. Just, uh, just a little bit. So you know. Just, just a little bit. Just saying. I might even have this as a 45. Uh, well, I'll tell you later Final. what a 45 is. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So we teased a little bit. We talked about the game rooms and all the fun you can have here, but we haven't really uh, talked about the menu here. I'm telling you what, this place is the home of the $9.99 burger and a beer midweek. Uh, you will not find a better deal, I promise you, anywhere here in Killington than the $9.99 burger and beer come in here midweek. They've got also ribs that are mothwarding, a multi-time Jack Daniels award winner for the ribs here. They have a little pig out front. We call him Jack, he weighs 1,200 pounds. And they fire, well, I say they fire him up, I was gonna say like eight in the morning. I think they fire him up in October. And he just keeps on simmering until the end of March or early April, right? And I'm, yeah, I'm not sure how they keep enough wood on hand to keep uh, Jack going because he never stops. He's constantly smoking those mouth-watering ribs yeah. that we all love here. I think that'd be a, a great trivia question. We'll have to find out from Sal himself how many quart of wood you go through uh, in a season just keeping Jack the smoker uh, fed and happy out there. But uh, you tell you what, man, you come in here, you don't need a fork, you don't need a knife. You pick them up and the, and the, and the meat's falling off the bone. It is delicious. Delicious, delicious food. Like I said, $9.99 burger and a beer, mouth-watering ribs. They've got heroes, they've got burgers, they've got wings. One of the best menus on the mountain that you got to come and check out. Thank you, Yay. Yay. Yeah, all right, One on. of our favorites. Not to mention all the good food. They have an awesome selection of draft beers also, and they're doing daily, daily draft specials. So this is the place to come to. It is. Speaking of draft beers, this one is really enticing me. It's teasing me. I know I can't drink it while the camera's rolling, so uh, we must move forward in the show. We must, and all good things <laughs> must come to an end. So, Go we've ahead. got the Today Show with Bettina. You want to tell us about that? I do. It's called Killington Today. Sarah, it's on every day at 7.30 in the morning. Now, it's a live program on weekends. We tape it and run it during the week. But all during the week, we have live updates as well. And what are we talking about with the live updates? We're talking about all the current and live information as regarding what trails are open, what lifts are running, what you're going to find up there at the ski area. Bettina's going to give you some very insightful information in terms of how to dress, what goggles you might want to wear that day. We've got our man Evan, he's doing live reports from the hill and posting them right up on Instagram and shooting them right down to our studio down here on Route 4 in Killington. Uh, and then we've got Mr. Pete Duffy, who runs our ambassador program. Pete starts out the day with a live report from the ski area, then he makes his way down to the station, sits in with Bettina and gives her the most up-to-date information. I'll tell you what, if you want to wake up with, with, with Bettina like I do, you're going to turn on that TV, you're going to start your coffee, and you're going to keep that on in the background. You're going to know exactly what trails to hit, what to wear, and where you're going to go up there. Check it out every day. KTV, Killington Today. 7 it's the place to be, and it really does take, take a team to make this show happen. We thank you guys so much for watching us. If you didn't get enough of Slato and I, you can always check us out at KillingtonTV.com. We're always posting stuff up there. We're also on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of your favorite social media accounts. So like us, share us. We love you guys. We appreciate you watching us. So please keep it up. Respect. Until next time. Respect the bubble. Respect the bubble and stay classy, Killington. We'll see you soon.